What's up, Trojan Wildcats? Thanks for joining us on this fantastic Friday. I'm Raquel Rockets. And I'm Sarah Douglas. Here's what we got going for you today. NLR JROTC is proud to announce that Cadet Mia Parker was sworn into the Air Force Reserve on September 26th. Cadet Parker will leave for Air Force basic training in June after graduation and then do her technical school. She will be assigned to a position at the Little Rock Air Force Base after completing her training. Open to all the NLR HS students. The Diversity Action Team is a discussion and action team working to ignite empathy through education and celebration. The meeting is focused on discrimination and oppression. Please join, next to, please join them next Tuesday, October 18th at 2.35 p.m. in room A208. Team court members, the next court date has been set for October 18th at the NLR courthouse at 3.30. We need lots of junior members to attend. Hey, Raquel, did you hear that the Wildcats are 6-0? Yeah, they have another game tonight against Catholic at One Memorial Stadium at 7. I'll be there. Hopefully, we'll see you too to see the Wildcats take another home victory. And now to Josh and Zach with Sports on the Hill. It'd be hard to watch a cat when the van keep dropping. Got to be a Ford on me so my pants keep falling. It'd be hard to understand when come a dog keep locking. And I ain't even trying to talk cause my jaw keep locking. She ain't trying to be a freak but them bands keep popping. Still caught up in the streets and the fence still knocking. It'd be hard to understand me my jaw keep locking. It'd be hard to understand when come a dog keep locking. Bite down. Bite down. It'd be hard to understand when come What's up, guys, and welcome to the mini version of Sports on the Hill. I'm Josh Hill. I'm here with my temporary partner, Zach Gray, filling in for Carly this week. Thanks for having me, guys. It's a great honor to be on Sports on the Hill. The swim team had a mandatory parent meeting last week. If you're interested and missed out on the meeting, contact Miss Stanley at stanleyk at nlrsd.org. Boys soccer trials are coming up soon. For more information, ask Coach Gill or reference to the local TV broadcasting 24-7 in every tower. The football team beat Southside 58-17. Dang, another blowout? Heck yeah, our boys are on fire. This week, the Charging Wildcat football team is traveling to War Memorial to face the Catholic High Rockets. Everyone come out and support our boys as they go for their seventh straight win. Seventh straight win. First time in school history our team has been 6-0. and This is a huge step for our team. Wow, that's incredible. I hear Catholic has a lot of injuries this year. Well, we're not the only one. We lost Joseph Howard, a wide receiver with great potential this week. He's out four to six weeks. You know, someone's going to step into his spot. I'm pretty sure Deontay Montgomery might step in. He's a pretty good receiver. He had a good game uh, last week against Southside. He really you know, put the team uh, on his back when he was passing. Yeah, he really did. So did Arion Cooney. Man, Alex Day is looking for a great, great game this weekend against Catholic. He's really ready to go off again. Oh, yeah, he really you know, went hard the last couple of games. So. Well, you know, Proud we lost, him. you know, it's been our first, our first game last season, you know, in double overtime, you know, that double, run yeah. back. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's really setting on some of our guys. I've talked to them lately, and, you know, they're really angry about, you know, having lost their first game, you know, in our new yeah. stadium. They're really looking for a comeback this season. Oh, yeah, it's going to be pretty incredible, guys. Make sure you come out there and support us. Well, thanks, Zach. Thanks for being here. Thank we really you. enjoyed it. You know, maybe next time you can be on, too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in this week. That's all we have for you. Come back next week for more sports. Go Cats! Charging Wildcats, I'm here with head football coach J.B. Mitchell, and I have a couple questions for him. So, Coach, tell me uh, from a coach's perspective how it feels to be 6-0. and well, those are the goals we set out for, you know, you like to win them all. And uh, fortunately, we've played great football up to this point. And, uh, you know, 3-0 and in a conference is more important than 6-0. and So hopefully we can keep that role going. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're, every win puts us one, close, one step closer to the playoffs. All right, so what's the talk in the locker room to keep your players focused and focusing on one game at a time? Well, there's still plenty to work on. You know, uh, we've had six turnovers in the last two games, and, you know, uh, defensively we're still making some mistakes. And uh, there's always things to get better on, and we're certainly one of those teams that's got to continue to do that if we plan on uh, being a state contender. 
Well, this game has to be a little personal for you due to the fact this is the first team that you lost to coming into North Rock. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, very much so. First game here and first game uh, in, in Arkansas. And to lose to those guys, the football team, we had no business losing to. We were much better. And uh, we did a poor job, uh, you know, coaching, playing, the whole the whole deal. And uh, this is a personal ball game, I think, to our players and our staff. And uh, one we're certainly looking for some revenge for. Well, thank you, Wildcats. Back to the, this. My time. My time. My name? That's right. Your pride. Your life. Your story. Your reward. Your money. John Andrew. Uh, my nose? Um, let me think. School books? My name. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And as a reminder to those of you who will be able to vote on next month's election, you may register to vote at the cafeteria. And now for a glimpse of student life, it's time for Snap Cats. That's all we have for today, Charging Wildcats, but we want to remind you that we want your snaps from the game so that we can feature them here. Remember that for any announcements or comments, you can contact us via email at NLRTV or NLRSD.org. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at NLRTV4, on Instagram at NLRTV underscore NLRHS, and on Snapchat at NLRTV. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.